first of all, Kaztar's back. So that's awesome. I don't know if he's in the audience. Uh, I just, you know, I don't know. But he's back, so that's super cool. If you don't, if you don't know who Kaztar is and you haven't had the absolute treasure of meeting him, he is our, our well, our Overmind. I am the co- Overmind. That's what I'll call myself. Even though it became official, I am no longer Overmind 2.0. <laughs> I still have the title, but it became official that I'm the Overmind. Um, I get the fancy, cool pink name. So, but welcome him back, everybody. He was gone, I think, traveling the world, doing whatever Castar does. So, good to have him back. Another good thing to start off our town halls with that we haven't had in a long time is promotions actual like we have our centurions which are really really great to do every single month although we do not have any this month if you are looking to join our leadership core go ahead and fill out an application in the leadership core um info and we can get you ranked up to centurion but other than that we have a couple of more um promotions that i'm really really excited about and the first one i'm going to touch on is crunk vs to discord architect I cannot even tell you guys how excited I am to have him back as our Discord architect. He has been here before, but <laughs> he's coming back, hopefully for good. Third time's a charm. <laughs> so everybody, congratulate Discord, uh, congratulate Crook, a Discord architect. Crook, do you want to come up and say a few words? Crook's been in the role before, and if you don't know who Crook is, he is a pillar in our community. He's been around for a very long time. Okay, he's not going to say any words, but thank you, Kronk. We will, uh, he, he's going to give us some good work. I know he will. I have, I have no doubts about that one. He managed Discord good. <laughs> and the second promotion that I'm also very, very excited about, it's a, emo it's a very important one, Horace to like it. <laughs> Everybody congratulate my man Horace! To coming back to Leggett again. He has been here before. He's actually been outfit leader, in fact, uh, before, but he stepped in and now he's back in the team as higher leadership, and I'm I'm happy to have him here. So thank you very much for coming back, Horace. And I'm so excited. Everybody congratulate both Crunk and Horace to their new roles. We'll give you that fancy purple back. And Horace, would you like to step up and say a couple of words? Hey, welcome, Vey. Okay, all right. No words will be said. Uh, I can attest to both of them. They are going to do great jobs in their new roles. So if you see them around, congratulate them. I will get them their ranks in game. But again, they've been up here before. They know the rules. They know their they know their places. So I'm glad. I'm glad to have them back on the team. I know. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm the only, I think I'm the only one. I don't even see you online. You're trolling me, Crunk. So yeah, if you see these guys around, give him a good good congrats there. There he is. I did. I just I just got it. Yeah, you do. Moderator. That's what you get. Called it. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyways, congratulations, Krug, Horace. Welcome to the team. Um, if you guys are looking to promote, get promoted here in the outfit, um, you can feel free to reach out to me to discuss what we look for as far as that end of getting higher leadership promotions here. Um, I won't bore you guys with that <laughs> too much this town hall because I want to make this quick, but we're going to move on. So again, congratulations. August cap goal. Guys, what happened? What happened? Our current cap goal. Let's, let's take a look here. 810. <laughs> Our cap goal was at 1,300 and we have done 1,200 something before. So I know we could do it. So this this is a bummer, but it's okay. I know that um population, you know, it's kinda kinda 
been dwindling, but that's okay. We're going to just go ahead and set the next cap goal for, o- what is the next month? September, not October. I don't know why I have October down. September. I'm already thinking about Halloween. We're going to set our September goal for 1,000. See if we can beat that. If we can, then I am going to go ahead and raise it again. But as of right now, we are going to set our September goal for 1,000. I wish we could skip to October. I'm so, I'm so over summer. I'm ready for it to be done. <laughs> I'm ready for the fall and the pumpkins and all of it. I'm ready for it. Yes, I am looking to start platoon leading more often, but we'll we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And of course, we're always looking for more people to squad lead and platoon lead. So definitely jump on that. If you haven't tried it, I promise it's not that scary. Pretty great. <sighs> Guys, as of right now, I know the current state of the game is it's looking okay. It's looking okay. Um, right now, we're in a weird fog, if you've been playing a little bit recently, where the TR is kind of dominating lately. Um, and that's okay. I think the game goes through these goes through these weird phases of where one faction dominates more than the other. Last month, it was VS. So we're just in that weird, weird fog here. Just keep it up. We're doing good. People go where the activity is and where the platoons are being led. And right now that's TR. So that's why we're seeing that that huge influx in TR population. Yeah, we have competition, I know. Um, but we don't want it to get to a point where everybody's moving to TR. <laughs> we want to have some people to fight, you know? And we don't want everybody to move to TR. <laughs> but it's really, really good. I mean, good for TR. It's good to see other factions getting some love because for a while there, it was really tough for VS to even fight anything because we would just dominate and dominate and dominate these fights. And eventually there was no one to fight. So good to see that TR is getting a little bit of love there. And good to see other outfits are doing the things that they're they're supposed to be doing. You know, platoon leading, getting out there. Um, they have been more coordinated than I've ever seen them before, so good on them. But don't don't let this get you down. Um, we made a comeback today, and I'm sure we'll make a comeback moving forward. <laughs> Why would one want to move to TR? I don't know. TR has some pretty cool guns. I'm from TR. I started on TR. I'm a, I'm a little TR trader here. But SKL is still looking very, very stable. Uh, we are still getting a good influx of people every single day. We're still running our ops nights. We're still running platoons. We're still getting our name out there. People still know who SKL is. So if you're worried about the state of the outfit, have no fear. The state of the outfit is still in really, really good shape. We have a great community here within SKL, and I plan to keep it that way. I'm sure so does Kastar and the rest of our higher leadership. So I wouldn't worry about anything on the SKL side. We are very, very, very stable. Although in a theoretical power save mode, just because we're not doing uh, events like we used to or running academies like we used to, we still here sometimes do some trainings and here and there do a couple events. I do have some things planned here in the future. I'm not going to spoil them now. Um, but something to look forward here in SKL. So hopefully you guys stick with us and we continue to run. I think we're going to be in it to the long run. You know, SKL is going to be around until the day that the game dies. <laughs> so have no fear. We're, st we're still going to be here. We're still going to be around. Okay, guys, I do want to move on to the next topic here. Pooling Bastions and Colossuses. I just want to touch on this very, very quickly. Um, I just want to put out some friendly reminders here and there saying, if you are pulling a Bastion or a Colossus, we ask that you request it through our Discord channel. Um, I know that not everybody has access to the Discord channel. Obviously, if you're here, you do. Um, but if anybody's rewatching the reruns, if you don't have access to our Discord channel, you can reach out to one of our leadership in-game. Um, but you can request them through the Armory request channel. Horace, just drop that link there. We ask that you do this because it's the easiest way for us to keep track of it. Um, we ask that you give us a time and a date on when you guys are wanting to pull it. 
we want you guys to pull them. <laughs> we always, pretty much always have a Bastion and we can always have a Colossus in stock. That's one of the best parts about being an SKL. We pretty much have a full armory. We're blessed to have that. So we want you guys utilizing it. Um, however, I do want to remind you guys that on the other end, we have to have somebody there, you know, giving you the perms and making sure it goes smoothly. So please don't waste anybody's time. If you can't make your Bastion pool, it's not a problem. We can just go ahead and reschedule it, but don't give us the runaround. You know, don't let us, don't be like, hey, okay, I'm going to pull it now, or I'm going to pull it in this. We totally understand that sometimes alerts happen and there's 20 minutes left in alert and you don't want to pull a Bastion when there's 20 minutes left in alert. That happens all of the time and that's no big deal. We just reschedule and move on. But please don't waste any of my leadership's times with running around and getting the Bastion. Um, it's not a big deal if you can't make it. I promise you, it'll be fine. <laughs> and I want to also remind everybody that you do not keep your Bastion perms once you pull the Bastion. We take those perms back for those, um, and then we'll give it back to you if you ever want to pull a Bastion in the future. This is to prevent a bunch of people from having options to pull the Bastion. I'm sure you understand. We have over 4,000 people in the outfit, so we don't want to give every single person Bastion permissions. That's just any outfit in general. <laughs> so if you oh, if you want to request a Bastion, there is hardly ever a no. We will never tell you no. The only time you will ever get told no is if there's already one signed up and scheduled. It's the only time. Okay, moving on. Hopefully everybody understands that. Or yeah, or if we don't have available somebody available to help, but more than likely, we will, and we'll try to help you, and we'll get you that bastion. Please do not waste, do not waste my my damn my team's time. <laughs> okay, SKL Ops Night. Our next Ops Night is slated for this coming up Friday. I will have signups posted at the end of this town hall. Um, we're still running strong with our Ops Nights. Thank you to every single person who has been helping out with Ops Nights. They have been great. They have been a ton of fun. Um, and I'm glad to see that we can still run those every single Friday or every single other Friday. So the next one is this Friday, September 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I've been toying with the idea of maybe moving from 7 to maybe 8. And I kind of wanted to come on here and ask your guys' opinion on it. If moving it to 8, would that be too late for everybody? Or because I feel like where we're starting right now, 7, it's pretty early in the day still. But I just wanted to toy and ask for everybody what eight would be. So Outfit Wars is not happening, Tace, actually. I don't know if you've saw the, uh, the news, but they are not doing Outfit Wars. Uh, they recycled a banner. And yeah, they did. They recycled the banner from last year where it had the Outfit Wars stuff on it. And unfortunately, they announced that there was going to be no Outfit Wars planned for this year yet. <sighs> they trolled us. They trolled us big time. And I'm very disappointed about it. But, you know, it is what it is. If there is an Outfit Wars, of course, we're going to do our best to try to attend Outfit Wars. Of course, we want to we wanna do that. But as of right now, there's nothing scheduled. So that's a huge bummer. But yeah, so 8 o'clock. I've been toying with the idea of switching it to 8 o'clock. I'm going to keep it this uh, Friday for 7. Um, if everybody else is cool with the 8 o'clock move, then I think we're going to go ahead and do that for the not this coming up Alpha, or excuse me, this coming up Ops Night next one we'll we'll switch it to that eight o'clock i think that seven is a little bit too early um we had that time originally due to other outfits having their ops nights around the same exact time so that's why seven was originally the case but since i don't think that's an issue anymore uh we're not really bumping heads with anybody else <laughs> right now um i think eight is probably a good time to switch to so that was pretty much everything that I had. I don't really have anything else to add. C Congratulations, Crunk and Horace, again, on your guys' promotions. Um, does anybody have any questions, comments, or concerns, by perhaps?
what is your question, comment, or concern? Uh, Vey, there is no cheats to get more certs. In order to get more certs, the one thing that I can recommend to you is playing either Medic or Engineer. Um, literally just healing everybody that you see. Um, or or um, throwing down ammo pretty much anywhere you, you, you see. Uh, if it, is it what I think it is? I'm not sure what, what you think it is, my little cheerleader. I don't know. So, I, I'm, I'm not sure what you're saying. Um, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> she, she DM'd me. Yes, it's what you're thinking. Um, if we applied for a center on a few weeks ago, would when will we be contacted? Viper, honestly, this is totally my fault. I'll take full responsibility for that. I I was just looking over the applications today. Um, I that's my fault. I let it I let it slip through the cracks there. Um, I hadn't I hadn't been checking applications, so I will get on that application soon. Um, and I apologize for that. Uh. Please do not press Alt F4 in game. That will just close your game. Do not do that. But yeah, so definitely to get more certs, playing Medic or Engineer is my biggest recommendation to any new player. Medic is very, very simple. You hold and click and you get cert. Um, certs are earned by, you know, earning XP through the game. So getting kills, just doing anything that gives you any XP. Um, and Engineering, Sunderers, Tanks. Yeah, Resnades, if you don't have them yet, you can find them under Medic Certs. Don't answer her. She, she doesn't care. She doesn't actually care what a Resnade is. Uh, but yeah, well then, Vey, I, I recommend doing Engineer. You can, if, if you're a nurse in your life, you can be an Engineer in-game. Put a Spitfire down in a room and, and watch the certs happen. Throw some some ammo on the ground. But also doing your daily missions. You know, your daily missions will give you a certain amount of XP every single day. Um, so don't don't forget those and don't neglect your daily missions. There's there's all sorts of them. If you're newer to the game, you should have like basic ones that you can start that are pretty easy to get through and they give you tons of XP. So, I mean, I'm just looking at one right now, and this one gives me 3,000 for just resupplying squad vehicles on the front line. Yeah, follow a max around, throw ammo down where it's needed. Oh, batteries, right. Does anybody else have any questions? And yeah, Joe, we typically get about 20 to 25 people in the audience. People have other things that they're doing. These aren't mandatory. They never have been. They're just a fun little update to the to the outfit, if anybody cares. People keep joining them. I'll keep running them. Thank you, my my dear cheerleader. She's so good at her job. She's just so good at her job. Someone give her a raise. <laughs> okay, if nobody has any other questions, and again, I'm open to any questions, if nobody has any more questions, I think we're going to go ahead and close this out. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining. Um, and we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. I wanted to, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Uh, I actually Googled this once. I don't remember the answer, but there is an actual 
There isn't actually an answer to that question, and I don't, I don't know it. 700 pounds. That's a lot of woods. That's a lot of wood to chuck. I would never banner. You are a stupid Brit. <laughs> it's just kidding, guys. It's just kidding, guys. My god, please don't ban me. Don't cancel me. <laughs> I'm allowed to say it. I've earned my I earned my permission there. Go check our uh Go check out Nick's uh, highest kill there, who he's killed the most. For rough labor conditions and construction work, I don't, I don't know. You know, I hate this SKL air fryer meme. I don't remember who started this. I think it was Poncho, and I cannot stand it. <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> yeah. I hate it. I can't stand it. I hate this meme. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. In all seriousness, I don't want to take up anybody else's time. Um, thank you guys so much for joining August Town Hall. Sorry, it was a pretty short one. Not much to really cover this this uh, month. So maybe there'll be a few more things to cover next month if you guys want to stick around and hang out. But we'll see you next time. And I'm going to pull the Commander Curious. And I'll see you planet side. <laughs> get out of here go cap some bases my god we have three more days left come on people four more days go cap some freaking bases how do I end this <laughs> help discord attack help